Okay, in this video, and maybe one or two after that, I want to talk about one topic in particular, which is why is the sky blue? It seems like such an easy thing to know, but if you really think about it, it's so familiar, but why is the sky blue? Okay, and let me just tell you a little bit of a roadmap of where this is going to go here. So why the sky is blue is question three for us. That's why the sky is blue. And the answer to that, we'll spend a bunch, a bunch of time getting this all straightened out because it leads also to the answers to a bunch of more questions that are on our sheet. In particular, question number four will be in there about why clouds are white. It also leads to question number 33, which will tell us why are beautiful sunsets actually not so beautiful. That'll also land us on question number eight, get us an answer to that. Why is the sky on the moon black? And it'll also lead us into question number four, which is why are clouds white? And we'll also get an answer to question number 31 in there. Uh, question number 31 says, is the presence of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere all that bad? Okay, so you see this is a very critical question that if we can understand it, the answers to these will fall out fairly, um, in a fairly straightforward manner. So of course what we're talking about with the blue sky is one among my favorite things because this is sort of a comparison and contrast of the concepts here okay so this is of course what i'm talking about with the blue sky and who doesn't love days like this you know you walk outside you got some nice sun you have the clouds and the blue sky it just does a just does a lot for setting like a you know good mood and wanting to be outside it looks like a nice day and just you know great to be alive right and then of course you know at the end of these wonderful days here there's these sunsets and we covered something about the lie of the sunset but the big contrast between these two images here that hopefully you can see are the colors. The colors change a lot. It's still the same sky, the same sun, the same clouds, the same everything. It's just that it's just blue and beautiful here and sort of redder and oranger and you know beautiful in this one. But just the colors have just dramatically changed just because you know the sun's going down or because it's setting or versus when it's at its maximum altitude as, as you know by now. And then you can contrast all of that with going to our moon down here, where if you look at just, this is the sky on the moon, okay? This is actually what it would look like. If you were standing here on the moon looking up, you wouldn't see blue, you wouldn't see a red sunset, you wouldn't see any white clouds, you just see blackness. Literally looking straight up on the moon, you just see blackness. And look, look at the ground. It's obviously daytime on the moon, okay? It isn't like it's nighttime there, like you're on the opposite side of the sun relative to the way your the body you're on tends to be rotating so we're not on sort of the dark side of the moon at the moment here given the day that we're in where it's just it's a nice it's a, it's daytime on the moon but the sky is still black so we need to discuss that too okay so to begin the answer to this question of why the sky is blue i want to go back to a model that i showed you in an earlier video which is this one right here and this is back to our radiating charge where we discussed where light, a light wave comes from in the first place. And what we discussed that back then is if I just sort of take this charge and start to wiggle it like this, then these waves that you see going out, those are light waves. That's what we discussed, okay? And so the issue then is that in this example that I'm showing you here, I am taking the charge with my sort of my mouse cursor and making it move myself. Okay, I'm doing this, but I can't do this all day. I have other things to do. I'm going to get tired and that sort of thing. So what I can also do, and I think I showed you this, so we can turn on sinew soil here, where the charge sort of starts oscillating all by itself. And you see that as long as the charge moves, the light waves come out in these directions here towards the left and the right. And we see the relevant parameters here, like we see the frequency, the up-down rate that we discussed is in there. I can make it higher or I can make it lower. And also, let me put it somewhere in the middle here, and also sort of the amplitude, which is how, how much the charge is going to move is in there too. There's very low amplitude, and there's very large amplitude like that. I can play with those things. So we discuss all these things, and that's how light waves are generated. So the first question to answer then when we're talking about why the sky is blue is what else could cause this charge to move? If it's not me and my mouse cursor, or it's not some internal who knows what inside this program that's making a move, what else could there be that could, that could make the charge oscillate? And of course, when it's oscillating or moving, 
generate these light waves that we see. Okay, so what else could cause the charge to oscillate? We'll get there in the next video.